Now, let us see the relationship between object distance and image distance uh, due to the plane mirror. See, this is our plane mirror. This is a point object placed here. This is incident ray. This is normal and the ray will be reflected like this. So this angle of incidence i, this angle of reflection r as we know i is equal to r. Now if I extend this line what happens? It falls uh, here. If this is the object uh, let us see o, this is some mirror m. This is image, this is image i. Now, if this is i and this is r, if I extend this line, let us see what happens. These two are like uh, parallel lines. This is like uh, alternate angle. This is our r. And one more thing, as these two are uh, parallel lines, if the angle is r here, here also the angle will be r or else uh, with the alternate angles also you can say if this is r this is also r say this is something o now here we have two triangles one is uh, o m o and the one is uh, triangle i m o Let us compare these uh, two triangles. If I compare these two triangles, uh, if this is uh, I, here this is alternate angle, this is also I. As you know that I equal to R, which is equal to I, which is equal to R, means uh, this angle and this angle are equal. Here this is 90 degrees, here also this is 90 degrees, as this is a mirror and this is a perpendicular line. This is 90 minus i and this is also 90 minus r or we can say that 90 minus i. So all angles are uh, equal in these two triangles and this side is uh, common for the two triangles. So now we can say that uh, these two are uh, congruent triangles as these two are uh, congruent triangles uh, the side om must be equal to side mi where om is called as uh, the object distance where mi is called as a uh, image distance hence uh, it is proved that in case of a plane mirror the object distance and image distance are equal